I play a lot of Minecraft. So much Minecraft that I've recently hit 2,000 days played in my hardcore world. When I hit 1,000 days a few months ago, I compiled all of my adventures into one gigantic movie, so I figured I'd do the same to celebrate 2,000 days. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go watch my 1,000 days movie first, so that way you're all caught up from the start because this adventure gets a little crazy. But enough with all that, let's get straight into the 2,000 days. I just recently hit 1,000 days played in this world, and we've done a lot in that time. But I'm gonna need to take these projects even further. So in today's video, I'm gonna be building a golden castle containing the most insane gold farm ever. Yeah, this is gonna get intense. I think this looks like a good spot to build this thing, but I've got a couple trees I gotta take down first. Yeah, I think that's enough room to build a castle. Well, hopefully. So my plan is to build a gigantic castle made out of mostly gold. And then when you enter the castle, you'll go through a nether portal that'll send you right to my gold farm on the nether roof. I know this is a complex idea, but I think we could pull it off today. I mean, after I made a planet for my iron farm, I kind of have to do something crazy for a gold farm. So I think the first thing I need to do is to outline a castle because uh, I don't know where to put this nether portal just yet. And before we can build the castle, we're going to need a lot of gold. So first, I'm going to outline the castle. And now we we've got a nice outline for the castle. So I've gone ahead and made a pretty scraggly shape all around the border. This is going to be a really big castle, by the way. And we're going to need a lot of golden blocks. Hey, there's actually one right there. I'm not wasting a single resource this time around. So this can be the first gold block into the castle. Ah, this is going to take literally hundreds of hours. But like I said, I've marked out the castle walls. We're going to have a tower over here, tower here, a tower here. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these rectangles just yet, but it's probably going to be some kind of courtyard. I actually have no idea, but I'm not really worried about furnishing the castle right now because the most important part is that when I walk up to the castle and hop in here, I'm sent to the nether, which means this border is going to have to be replaced with obsidian. And I definitely do not have that much obsidian, so we're going to need to grab some, starting with this broken nether portal. Okay, 14 obsidian, that's actually pretty good. On second thought, that got us basically nowhere. Okay, I finally found a lava pool. Now, time to grab all of this obsidian. And now we have a portal. But before we can light this thing, we need to head into the nether and do some math. Let's hope I don't mess this up. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that if we put our portal right here, it should lead to the one that we just built. I'm really scared to try this. Please link up. And it didn't work. Well, now I'm kind of curious where this portal will take us. Wait a second. I think it worked. Okay, so now we just have to break this portal, which I have no idea why it spawned. All right, I know this is a gigantic nether portal, but once we have this castle complete, it's going to look perfect. And why are you in my world? Oh no, is this going to be a problem? You can't be in here, man. All right, all right, I guess you can stay. But now we have our portal, we have our outline. We're going to need to start getting a lot more of these. And by far the best way to do that is by making a gold farm. So since we built this portal that takes us right to the nether roof, we can actually build our farm right here. And I think it's a good idea to get started on the farm now because we're going to need to AFK it for a long time to get all these gold blocks. And I mean a long time. And this is going to be a pretty big farm, so we're going to need a lot of stuff. Okay, I've got everything I need except for one really important item, and that is magma blocks, which is going to take me a really long time, so let's get to it. I'm probably going to need about two or three shulkers of these magma blocks, so hopefully this doesn't take me too long. Okay, I think I have all the materials I need, and now we can finally get started on building this gold farm. So first things first, we need to make a giant circle outline for this farm. This is going to take me a little while. Alright, that looks about right to me. Whoa, you guys are a little early here, though. Oh, that's not good. That could have been really bad. But now that I just made that main outline, I need to make an outer ring where these guys will spawn. Oh my god, I just realized I messed up royally bad. So you guys see that right there? Well, that was the layer the slabs were supposed to be on, but for some reason, I went up a half slab. Which means I need to bring this entire thing down by half a block. I don't know how I managed to mess up things like this. Okay, I fixed it. So now that that's taken care of, I actually have to go in and fill all of this with slabs. This farm isn't difficult to build or anything, but it sure is extremely tedious. All right, now that this platform is done, we have to start placing our magma blocks down here all the way around. And I do have a few shulkers full, so hopefully that'll be enough. I 
I have finally finished placing blocks. Man, this really took a long time. But I think it's pretty safe to say that the farm is finished. Except I don't exactly have a storage system for this thing just yet. See, if I want to have enough gold blocks to build a castle with, I'm going to need a lot of storage. So that way I can AFK this farm for long periods of time. So far, we only have this one chest, and we're going to need a lot more. And this is where the scaffolding is going to come in handy. I know you guys have been telling me for literally ever to start using scaffolding, but uh, I'm, I'm just starting now. Okay, this is actually impossible to do on scaffolding. I don't know how you guys manage to do this. Okay, now trust me, I know that I I need to expand this thing but i just am really excited i don't want to try out the farm so for now this is all i'm putting down what? i'm pretty sure if i'm doing this correctly i just have to go whack one of these pigmen oh my god they're mad and i think that did something oh i have to place a block down here so i should be able to come down here and just start whacking these guys yeah that looks pretty promising to me that is a lot of pigmen i actually forgot that i will be getting a ton of xp from this farm as well oh no wait a second this thing is an automatic oh my god i'm gonna have to sit here and click for literally ages oh my god i don't know what i'm gonna do there is still so many of them coming and for whatever reason they're just dying in there repeatedly i'm pretty sure it's because there's just so many entities they're just cramming themselves well, I guess now I need to go figure out a way to make this farm a little bit more automatic. Okay, it has been about an hour and a half of grinding. I literally have 125 levels, and all of my tools and armor are repaired. Can life get any better? There are still an absolute ton of pigmen up here. I'm already almost at level 126. This is absolutely insane. You guys have to build one of these for your world. But the most important thing is how much gold we'll actually get from this farm. So if we come all the way down here, there's actually a ton of pigment down here as well. What the heck are you guys doing down here? I've funneled out most of the stuff, but it looks like we do have a little bit more gold to go through in here so i craft all of these into gold ingots and then craft all of these into gold blocks we can add this to our gold block collection right up here and we have just about three stacks of golden blocks which for an hour and a half of work isn't entirely terrible but uh it's, it's not good enough we could make this farm automatic now, as you guys know, I'm not really good with redstone or anything or building farms on my own without a tutorial. So this is going to be a little uh, makeshift, but I'm going to do my best to make this thing work. And oh my God, why are there so many of you? Actually, you know what? I'm not going to complain because I need the gold, but I think what I should do is take out the floor and make these guys fall all the way down, down there somewhere. So that way they just fall, die, drop their gold, and uh, I don't have to do any work. Well, I probably won't get as much gold because because I have looting three on this sword, which means I'm probably going to miss out on quite a bit of drops, but at least that way I can AFK the farm. So first I need the pigments to just leave. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're interested. So I think we're just gonna have to work around the pigmen. If that's even possible, that is. Imagine I die from a baby piglin. Oh my goodness, they're actually coming for me. Yeah, see, I'm terrified of baby piglin. No way am I going near any of them. But if I'm correct, it's this block where the pigments land on. So that means we're gonna have to remove all of this chest system that I've just built, which is incredibly unfortunate. Yeah, honestly, I don't even know if this is going to work. Wait a second, how did you guys survive that fall? That's what I want to know. Unless you're spawning down here. Is that possible? Now, where did all the chests go that I mined? Ah, here they are. Okay, so I believe if we just come down here... Oh, that was not supposed to happen. But I should just be able to put some hoppers down here, and hopefully this will work. Oh, wow, that is a lot of XP right here. I think some of the pigments are actually escaping. Okay, so now we should be able to come up here, and I think we can just break this block. Okay, that is so much XP. But I believe if we break this block, and I'm going to put some slabs here so that they don't fall off track, we should be able to break this block. And if they fall down here, ouch, that did not work out as planned. Oh, no, they're going on all the layers. Okay, so I believe... I believe that if we just continue this funnel all the way down, the pigments won't really be able to get out of here. And hopefully then we'll have a foolproof dropper farm. At least I hope. Okay, so now we should be able to just hit one of these guys with an arrow. And if I stand here, they should fall right down. Okay, this is actually awesome. All right, I'm going to go AFK this and get some Chipotle. And I guess I'll update you guys once we have a little bit of gold to work with. It has been four entire days. Now I got to tell you, we have some pretty impressive results. I've just gone through, grabbed everything and crafted all of the gold. Actually, I did probably forget a little bit, but that's fine. We have one entire double chest full of gold blocks, and it gets better. I have an almost entire second double chest of golden blocks, and I forgot about these 19, so I can add them in as well. So with about two double chests full of gold, I am officially the richest man in the game. All right, well, not really, but we're getting there. 
With all this gold, I'm not exactly sure if this will be enough for the castle, but it's definitely going to get us on the right track. That is literally four shulkers filled with gold blocks. I have never had this much wealth in this game before, but with all of the gold that I have now, I could finally get the heck out of the nether. Yeah, I do not want to spend another second in here. And yes, I made myself a path out of magma blocks so that I don't get lost. I am so excited to get out of here. Ah, uh, that is much better. And uh, why are you here? Dude, why am I being greeted by creepers? I haven't been in the overworld in like a week and this is what I get to greet me. Now there is something that I've really missed since I've been in the nether. I just gotta wait for it to get dark real quick. That is what I'm talking about. Ah, I can finally sleep again. Okay, now we gotta get started on this castle. So a few days ago, I actually made myself a nice big outline of the castle, which is going to make my life a lot easier. Of course, every castle needs some towers. So I think that's a pretty good place to start with building this thing. I really hope I have enough gold for this. Okay, I just spent way too much time on this, but I got our first tower design for the castle and I think it looks pretty sick. And I think I have a block palette that looks pretty good with gold blocks. And yes, I have already used a ton of gold blocks, which isn't very good. So now that this first tower is done, we can actually replicate it and build the rest of the castle. All right, I think I'm finally done the castle. Actually, no, I am not done yet. I am super happy with the design, but you guys see this? Well, on both sides of the castle, I decided to add these weird little towers. And the problem is I built part of the castle into this tower, so I don't really know how to do a roof onto it. Yeah, I didn't really think this through, I guess. All right, I gotta figure this out. All right, now I have no idea what that shape is, but I think that'll do. As far as the rest of the castle goes, I've got some towers to finish. So now that I have this top tower complete, we have to figure out what to do with the inside. So first things first, I have to put a roof on this thing. Okay, there are a lot of mobs in here. Yeah, there's no way I'm going down there. I kind of forgot to put torches inside the castle. Yeah, not my brightest idea. Now that we have a bit of a roof on this thing, this golden castle is complete. And if we go through this portal right here, it takes me right to my gold farm. This project from start to finish took me right around two weeks. So if you guys did enjoy, uh, please subscribe. I'm I'm gonna be doing something even crazier for the next episode. I'm not even kidding. Literally every video gets crazier. This is the most intense series I've ever made. But thank you guys so much for the support. It means more than you know. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I am terrified of the warden. Oh no, 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 no. So what better thing to do than to bring him into my world and create a base inside complete with everything I need to survive in hardcore Minecraft. Okay, to build this thing, I'm going to need a lot of materials. First, I'm going to need some cyan wool. Okay, how the heck do I get cyan dye? Wait, we're going to need cactus, seriously? And it's getting dark and I haven't found a desert just yet. Finally, a desert. I've just searched around this entire desert and you're telling me there's only one single cactus here. Okay, the game really doesn't like me today. I'm so tired that I literally thought that was a cactus. Okay, time to go find another desert. And now it's gonna rain. Yeah, this is just not my day. Oh, yes. Thank heavens. You guys got anything good for me? Oh, actually, I will take that and that and all of this. Thank you, guys. Oh, Thank you for the obsidian, bro. I really thought that was a cactus. Okay. Now I can go around and collect all of this cactus. Maybe one day I'll make a cactus farm, but today is not that day. Okay, I really want to go check that broken nether portal out. Please have a golden apple. Why can't I ever just find normal portals? Is there even a chest here? Aha! That is not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Okay, but this should be a plenty of cactus for what we need. Okay, so I think I just have to smelt this cactus, and then I should be able to craft cyan dye. Perfect! So now I can come over here and dye some of these sheep. We're also going to be needing light blue wool and black wool. 
And while we wait, another block that I need is quartz, which I already have a ton of from a project I just recently did. Thank you. And next, I need cyan terracotta. Wait, how do I get that again? Oh, I think I have to go to a Badlands biome. Whoa, I forgot how cool this place is. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a ton of gold underneath these biomes. Yeah, that would have really come in handy last episode. So I think I just need to grab a ton of this terracotta, and then I can combine it with cyan dye, and we should be good. The only problem is I need a lot of this. And I did not bring a beacon. So this is going to take a little while. Yeah, that should be enough. Now I just have to craft the terracotta. And the last block that I need is concrete. And I'm going to need it in a bunch of different colors. Okay, now I have all the materials I need. Actually, wait, I lied. There's one more block. Mushroom stems. Wait, how the heck am I supposed to get those? I didn't really think that through when I was building this in my creative world. I think there's a mushroom biome around here somewhere, actually. Okay, that is a really small mushroom island. Well, at least there's a few mushroom stems we can get. Ah, uh, this is not good. Wait a minute. I wonder if I can grow normal mushrooms with bone meal. Let me see if this works. Yeah, this is not getting us anywhere. Okay, now there is a dark oak forest right by my house. At least I thought there was. Aha, there it is. And there's actually a lot of mushroom trees here. So I'm going to go get all the mushroom stems I can possibly find. And yes, I'm leaving the tops of the mushrooms and uh, th there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, that should be more than enough. I don't need a whole lot of them because they're just there to texture up the quartz. And now we should have all of the items that we need to build this thing. That is a lot of blocks. I already know that I'm going to need to refill on black concrete soon. Uh, actually, on second thought, I need to clear out this forest really quick. Now it's time to actually build this warden. After I empty my inventory. Okay, now I can get started on building the warden. And I'm stuck in a hole. So first, we're going to need to start by building his legs. Actually, we're missing wool. I really hope you guys made me a lot of wool today. Well, I guess that's not too bad. And while I'm building, they're going to be producing even more. So I'm not too worried about it. So now we can get started on building the feet of the warden. And now I have two warden legs sitting in my hardcore world. Yeah, I know this looks a little weird right now, but trust me, this is going to be built up into an entire huge warden. And this is actually exactly where we're going to be putting the door. Just like that. Hey man, you really can't be here right now. This is an active construction site and you guys too. Sorry. But since we've got two warden legs, we need to build a torso on top of it. I am actually dreading this. I just finished up the chest and this part was extremely difficult, but I think it came out pretty good. So now I'm going to have to head around back and do the back of the warden. This part's going to be a little difficult because I'm going to try to make his backbone just exactly how it is on the actual mob. Uh, this is kind of starting to look a little bit like the wither. I'm just going to roll with it and I'm officially out of black wool. Yeah, that is not good. We're less than halfway through this build and I'm going to need a lot more wool. Let's check the wool farm and see how much we have. I'm really hoping that there's gonna be like nine stacks of black wool in here there's actually no black wool in here what about these other farms please okay here's two stacks i really hope this one has some and just about two stacks so that's a decent amount hopefully that'll last us a while if not i'm gonna be dying all these guys black okay thank gosh that matches up at least i'm doing something right so now i'm pretty sure i have to come all the way down here and if i'm not mistaken i have to fill all of this panel in with black concrete just like this and quite frankly i don't know if i have enough black concrete for this I've got about three and a half stacks right now. And over here in my chest, I have two stacks left. Okay, this could be a problem. And now I'm just going to go through and add some detailing to the back. Okay, so now we have to face the dilemma of black concrete. I'm going to need an absolute ton of this. I really underestimated how much this is going to take. So let me go grab some. Hopefully now this is enough concrete. It probably won't be. Wow, the warden's got a really big hand. I'm just realizing now how long the warden's arms are. I know that I have so many materials to choose from, but there's a block that I really, really want for the arm, and it's only found in the nether, so it's time to put this guy back on. And yes, I see your comments about how ugly my nether portal is. And you know what? Today I'm actually going to do something about it. Hold on, just give me a second. There. Now we have a flower on top. That is one beautiful nether portal if I've ever seen one. Now the reason I haven't told you what block I need is because I actually don't know what they're called. I just know them as blue 
wood. I'm actually curious to see what this stuff is called. Warped stem. Okay, we need a lot of warped stem. All right, that should do the trick. A few stacks is all we need. Now we just have to get back to the overworld and I'm a little bit lost. I just remembered I don't think I wrote down the coordinates to my nether portal. Oh no. Yeah, I am insanely lost. Wait a second. Oh, there's the portal. I was actually scared for a second there. Okay, I promise I'm done getting off track. Yeah, that's starting to look like a warden arm. Guys, I told you that block was necessary, but now I've got to build this dude's shoulder. Okay, I need to get back to building. And the warden is complete. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. I didn't build the head yet. But I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of this headless warden so far. I should have just enough black concrete to finish him off. I'm really hoping I do. Because I don't feel like going to kill more squids. And honestly, in the future, I probably should just make a squid farm. Because I use a lot of black concrete. But that's besides the point. We need to build this head now. And this part is so important because this is where the base is going to be. So let me go build this warden head. I'm just really going to hope that this is going to come out and look like a warden when it's done. And if this doesn't come out right, it's going to mess up the entire build. I can't believe I'm almost finished this warden. And I ran out of concrete. Okay, thank gosh I have some extra in this chest here. And I think I also have just enough black concrete to finish up the arms. Wait a second, I almost forgot. The warden has horns. All right, now that looks a little bit more like a warden. This is actually kind of crazy. And luckily for me, I have a lot of materials left over for future projects, but we're not done just yet. I want to build a base inside of the warden. Look, I know I have multiple houses in this world already, but uh, I, I just like building bases, okay? Luckily for me, I cleared out an ancient city and I have a whole skulk block collection over here. So I'm just going to grab some of these. Oh, I think I'll also grab some amethyst. And of course, we're going to need some other blocks to build with. I'm gonna need a bed, probably a bell, some torches and lanterns, and some black stained glass. Okay, this should be good. So first, I'm gonna lay out some skulk blocks. Oh god, it's gonna be really dark up there. Let me just put some torches all over the place. Hopefully, these torches everywhere help. Yeah, I just really don't like the dark. All right, that should be enough. And now, I'm gonna build up this black concrete, because this is going to be the entrance all the way up to the base. I'm gonna need to place a lot of ladders to get all the way up to where the base is gonna be, which is right here. So, this is where we're gonna be building the base. Oh, I forgot my shulker down here. So I came up with a really cool idea that maybe we add in a big window right here in the warden's mouth. So that way I can see right out of my base. Okay, that is so cool. I can see my entire world from up here. Wow, we, we are really high up. Imagine sleeping up here every night. But now we need to decorate this place and make it look more homey. I think I'm going to add in some spruce pillars all around here. Then I'm going to fill the walls in with skulk. And I think these two panels here are going to be where I keep my chest. Okay, that looks perfect. Okay, I'm also going to add in a row of bookshelves right by my bed. And I can add in some lanterns here. And then this back wall is going to be our workstation. So I'm going to add in some hanging lanterns up here. And now I can add in some of the necessities that I need. And I think I'm going to make a little windowsill right here. So that way I can hang a few more lights. And I have to add a little pattern in the floor, of course. And there we have it. The warden head base is complete. This is everything I need to survive. Actually, I forgot something. There we go. Yeah, that guy's kind of necessary to have in any base. But now the base is finally complete. Oh, this thing is so cool. But I'm really curious to see what it looks like from the outside. So let's go check it out. Okay, that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You can literally just see the little base hiding in the warden. That is so sick. Okay, now I really don't know which base to sleep in at night. And all I can say for now is the next episode is going to get crazier. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon. The beacon is one of Minecraft's most expensive blocks, but today I built an entire house out of only beacons. This took me over 200 beacons to build, so to help me out I built some insane farms to get more than 700 wither skulls, and this allowed me to fight hundreds of withers to obtain all the beacons I needed for this house. What am I doing with my life again? So because beacons are super expensive, I want to map out just how many I'll be needing. So I went and designed a house in a creative world that came out super sick by the way, but in total I'm going to be needing 200 
244 beacons. Yeah, that means I'm gonna have to kill the wither over 200 times. And to do that, I'll need to gather over 700 wither skulls. Bro, what? Okay, before I pass out by the sheer amount of work this is going to take, let me map out where I wanna build this house. And I actually think I have some beacons to get us started. Or maybe I don't. Wait, where are my beacons? I could have sworn I had some. Actually, I think I know where they are. I could have sworn I had beacons in here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Yeah, that was the only way I could dig this giant hole. Okay, now I only need 237 beacons. This video is going to take me so long. And I know that I'm going to have to spend a lot of time in the nether to get wither skulls. So let me just grab some preparations. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but I absolutely hate the nether. Literally more than anything in the game. So I want to make sure that I have everything necessary so that I don't die. Okay, but for now, let's go get some wither skulls. And we're already using totems. This is not fun. Hey, we got a skull. Now I just need 700 more. Yeah, this is not going to cut it. Unless I want to spend all of eternity in the nether, which I certainly do not. I think we're going to need to build some sort of farm. So if I'm going to be building a wither skull farm, I'm going to need a ton of nether bricks. And I don't really want to touch this fortress because it looks all pretty. So I'm going to go find another fortress real quick. Okay, perfect. I'm pretty sure this fortress hasn't been touched. Oh lord, there's a lot of you guys here. Okay, I'm just going to avoid all that. So now I can just grab all of the nether bricks I need, which I think is going to be around nine stacks. Okay, I lied. I actually need 14 stacks of this stuff. And that should be plenty of nether bricks. So now I can get started on building a spawning platform. Now that I have this big spawning platform, I'm going to need to get a lot of other materials for this farm. I'm pretty sure I even need turtle eggs, and I don't even know how to get those. I also think I want to make some invisibility potions so that I don't get shot at by those blazes anymore. I did have some fire res potions, but I already used them. And honestly, blazes are very annoying, and I don't really want to deal with them anymore. But for now, we have a lot of materials to gather. So I'm going to need quite a bit of stone, and we're going to need a lot of these stone brick walls. I'm also going to need some glass, some slabs, some stairs, and I'm also going to need some ladders and trapdoors a door, and a bunch of other random things. And I'm pretty sure if we take these night vision potions and add a fermented spider eye to them, we should get invis potions. At least hopefully. The last things I need are 58 obsidian and 4 turtle eggs, which is actually going to be a bit of a challenge. So first I'm going to head underground to go get a bunch of obsidian. Diamonds. Don't mind if I do. And now I have to mine literally 58 pieces of this stuff. Okay, that should be plenty of obsidian. Now we need to figure out how the heck to get turtle eggs. So from what I've seen, I'm pretty sure that if we breed two turtles together, they drop an egg. But I'm going to grab some kelp and then I guess we should go find a beach. Aha, there's some turtles. Wait a second, you guys don't eat kelp? Uh, oh right, I need seagrass. And now we wait. Oh, I just realized I don't have a silk touch pickaxe with me. Please tell me there's one in my shulker. Oh, thank gosh. So I'm pretty sure we can just come over here and mine these. So now we just need two more. And there we have it. Okay, I'm pretty sure now we have everything that we need to build this wither skull farm. So let's head back to the nether. I feel so accomplished for gathering all the materials for the farm, but we haven't even started just yet. And now we're invisible. I'm hoping that no blazes can see us now, but honestly, I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, I think they can still see me. Dang it, man. So back to fire resistance we go. So first I'm going to need to add in a ton of these walls all over this platform. Then I can add the turtle eggs in all four of these corners, and then we can continue building up the farm. I think now we have to put an iron golem in this little cage. Why do mobs never want to cooperate with me? There we go. Okay, hopefully this is the last portal I have to build for this farm. And hopefully when we light this portal, please send me to my farm. Hey, it worked. At least I think so. Now, if I break all these torches, we should get some wither skeletons starting to spawn. It's been an hour and there are still so many wither skeletons here. Wait a second. Is that a blaze? Bro, how the heck did you get in here? Okay, this adds up to a little over 100 wither skulls, which means I could fight some withers and get around 38 beacons to add into the house. Okay, I did not expect to get that many so quickly. First, let me grab some soul sand. Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, now where can I go to fight 38 
withers. This is literally going to destroy my world. Okay, that is a lot of coal and a lot of bones. Uh, okay, so I have plenty of supplies to fight all these withers. Actually, I almost forgot I need a bow. That would be really bad if I forgot that. Okay, now I've got everything that I need. So I think the best place to fight the wither is probably underground. So I'm just going to head as far away as I possibly can. And of course, I mine into the deep dark. Okay, I've dug a little tunnel system so that we can hide from the wither if we need to. So now we should be able to just spawn one of these guys in. Actually, I should probably put on a chest plate first. All right, here we go. All right, that was a lot easier than I remember. Now we only need about 250 more. Yeah, this is gonna be a long day. Okay, that took a while. But now I have 39 nether stars. Now let's see if I remember how the heck to craft a beacon. I'm pretty sure we just have to do this. There we go. I'm gonna need more glass and obsidian. I now have 39 beacons. That completed the first layer of the house. So now we can start doing the floor. And we're already out of beacons. So now I'm going to need to grind for a lot more wither skulls. Let's hope this doesn't take me too many hours. It's the next day. I've grinded a total of around five hours. And this is the amount of wither skulls I've been able to get. Wow, <laughs> I really have no life. So this is exactly enough to spawn in 173 withers. And if I kill all of those, I'll have a total of 218 out of the 244 beacons I need to build this house. So basically, we made huge progress today. Except Except now I have to spawn in 175 withers. And I don't think that the way I was killing them before is going to really work anymore. So I'm going to have to think of something different. I think I have a way that just might work to trap these withers and kill them easier. I have some really bad news. I've just finished filming the rest of the video and it seems that my mic was muted for a big portion of that. So I'm going to do my best at summarizing what I did in these next few clips. So as you know, I needed to kill around 200 withers. So I headed straight into the end, cleared out a massive area underneath the portal and build a redstone contraption that allows me to to trap the wither inside of the bedrock at the base of the portal, killing it in just a few seconds. I was able to AFK this farm and get so many nether stars, and that brings us to here. Just about two hours later, this is our nether star supply. Yeah, that's just about insane. And the farm has actually used all of the wither skulls that we had, and it only took me about two hours. That's actually pretty crazy. I don't feel like bringing all that home. This chest full of redstone stuff can stay here, and I know I'm gonna forget about it, so I'm just gonna put a little sign here. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And now we can head back to the overworld and craft all these beacons. Oh, I'm already out of obsidian again. Are you serious? I could have sworn I grabbed a ton of this stuff. There it is. Yeah, this really took me like an hour to get. And now I'm out of glass. I wonder if I can use black stained glass to craft these things. Yeah, that didn't work. I'm almost certain that I have some glass smelting up in here. Don't mind if I do. And this should be enough to craft off the rest of these. Oh my god, I have so many beacons in my inventory. You guys know what that means. The floor of the house is complete, which means now we can get started on building these walls. I finished up the walls of the beacon house and I still have 27 beacons left over, so I think I'm going to get started on doing the roof. And of course, the rain has to come. Of course, I'm going to have beacons shooting up on the roof, but to help me detail the roof, I think I want to use some quartz. And I think I have some left over from when I built this warden last episode. Perfect. Now I can just craft these into stairs and now I can design a roof. Yeah, this is going to be very simple. You guys know I'm not good at this. And now I can just fill in this area with beacons and we're done. Ah, I'm just kidding. We're not done. And it's seriously raining again. I want to fill in the whole top of the roof with beacons. And there's one problem. We are already out. So we need to grab a few more beacons. Okay, this should be more than enough. And it's finished. The beacon house is complete. Actually, it's still not done. See, the reason I put beacons on the roof like that is because I actually want them to be shining up. So let me grab some iron. Oh my goodness. And if I make this entire roof out of iron blocks... 
the beacon should be shining up. Oh my god, that looks so sick. And I almost forgot that we actually need a door on this thing. And now the beacon house is complete. Yeah, this has to be my favorite thing in this entire hardcore world. Okay, now I can finally say that I'm rich. This took me about 100 hours, so please subscribe. There are nine ores in Minecraft, and today I'm gonna be building an entire solar system with a planet for each ore. I start off with some easy to get ores like coal and iron, but as the video goes on, the planets get crazier and more expensive. So I'm building a planet for every ore, and I don't care what you say, dirt is an ore. So, dirt planet. Now that we have something to go off of, I can start planning the nine other planets that I want to build around here. And the next planet I'm going to be building is coal, so I need to find some blocks that when put together look like a giant coal planet. But first, I need a nap. So I think that we're going to need some blocks that are black and gray. So first, I'm going to head over here to this giant hole that I dug and grab a bunch of coal. Please tell me I have a crafting table somewhere around here. Ah, uh, there we go. That should be plenty of coal, and I should probably grab some other black blocks. Now let's go build this thing. And to build these planets, I'm using a mod called Lightmatica that helps me out with a blueprint on where I need to place each block. So it's time to finish off this coal planet. And bam, coal planet. So the next planet I'm going to be building is iron. I've actually already built an iron planet in this world. So this one should be a breeze. Diorite will be perfect for that. And some polished diorite, some stone, calcite. We can even use some of this tough. And of course, I'm going to need some iron blocks. I'm going to need an absolute ton of iron. Let me go smell all this real quick. And I also want some of these plain iron ore blocks. Blocks, and I should also probably grab some white wool, which I have an absolute ton of down here. That is a lot of iron. Okay, I think we have enough iron blocks. And now we go back to the end to build this thing. And that right there is an iron planet. Actually, it's not done. I forgot one thing. Yep, much better. I decided to add these pearlescent frog lights into this planet, and I think it makes it look super cool and glowy. Yeah, that iron golem is living my dream. I now have three out of the ten planets I need to build here, which is actually pretty good progress. Now, the next planet I want to build is redstone, but I do have a little slight problem. I barely have any redstone. I literally only have 14 blocks. So I think I'm going to have to go mining for redstone. And sadly, that's not the only problem here. I'm pretty sure I have, like, basically no red flowers. Oh my god, I have a single flower. And I'm going to need a lot more dye to make red wool and red concrete. So I need to make a dye farm. I'm pretty sure I need note blocks for this farm. Yeah, let me find out how to craft those real quick. I think it's just a chest with a piece of redstone in it. That actually worked, okay. And I'm gonna need a lot of bone meal. Okay, so one jukebox goes here, and now the farm should be ready. What on earth is happening? I have to add some bone meal into this chest, and we should start to get some flowers. Okay, it's been just a few minutes, and I've already gotten quite a few stacks of poppy flowers. And now we have plenty of red dye to dye all this wool red. Wait a second, what? Oh my god, what have you done? I can't believe this dude just came and ate all my sheep. And now you're my dog. I think I'm gonna name you Sheep, because you ate all my sheep. Now I can craft a bunch of red concrete. And now all I need left is redstone. Ooh, diamonds. Why do I never find more than one? I think I'm also gonna grab some of this dripstone for one of the planets later on. And do I see more diamonds over there? Hold on, I just gotta grab these really quick. I haven't found a single piece of redstone yet, but I just found my third diamond vein. And you know what? I am not complaining. Finally, here's some redstone. Wait, are you telling me that was a single vein for redstone? Okay, there are a few too many creepers over here. But at least I've got plenty of redstone. And now we build the redstone planet. I've just now finished the outline for the redstone planet. But I kind of want to add in some more details. So I'm going to take a trip to my favorite place. Can you guys guess it? The nether. Isn't this place just wonderful? Now there is a reason I'm here. And there is a reason I have a ton of buckets in my inventory. I literally just spent my life savings on buckets. I'm going to grab an absolute ton of lava. Because I think I want to try adding a big crack into the planet with lava seeping out. Okay, this is definitely enough lava. I'm actually really proud that I didn't set myself on fire. Yeah, it, it happens a lot. So if I break a few blocks over here, then I can fill this in. Okay, not with wool. I'm I'm gonna use terracotta for this part and make sure it's not touching any of this wool. 
So now the lava that's up here will flow right down here and hopefully won't leak out into the other planets. Yeah, if something goes wrong here, it's not going to be a good day for me. I could make this lava pocket bigger, but I'm absolutely terrified of building with lava anymore. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. The next three planets are probably going to get a little expensive. Okay, not probably. I know that they're going to be expensive. Why are you here? Oh no, there's a baby zombie. I'm not messing with you guys. Is there a bed in one of these villages? Oh, thank God. No way this dude is still alive. Okay, as I was saying, I have plenty of ores. Wait a minute. I had all this redstone this whole time? What? Oh my gosh. I spent so long mining today. Wait, where did my crafting table go? I don't think you guys understand how often I lose crafting tables. And I think that's going to be enough lapis. I also want to use some warp stem. And I do have a few left over from when I built the warden. And I'm also going to grab some andesite. And I think all these blocks together will make the perfect lapis planet. And there's our lapis planet. But honestly, there's something I kind of want to add to this thing. And now I have a super cool rim around this planet, just like Saturn. Honestly, it just looks way better this way. So now we've built five out of the 10 planets that we need. And in a future video, I'm going to be adding something insane into the rest of the end island. But I should probably go grab a few more materials so that we can keep building. Meanwhile, wait a second. I'm just realizing now that all of these copper blocks are going to oxidize, which means this is going to turn green and look really weird with the blocks I textured it with. Well, it's a little late to change it now. I'm just gonna roll with it and the copper planet is done actually i'm kind of thinking that it needs a little bit of light all right that's much better okay so the next planet i'm gonna be building is gold and a few episodes ago i got a lot of it no seriously i have so much gold and i'm seriously out of fireworks oh but that's actually not even a problem Wait, where the heck did I build this thing again? There she is. Yeah, that is a beautiful sight. I genuinely can't believe I've already gone through like eight stacks of fireworks this video. That's actually a little embarrassing. Okay, but back to the castle now. So as you guys know, a few episodes ago, I built this. And if you head through the portal, you're sent to the nether roof. And my gold farm should be right over this way. And if I just smack one of these guys, we'll have plenty of gold in no time. Okay, that is actually a lot of XP. I'm just gonna repair my tools really quick. And we have a lot of gold to craft. Okay, this has to be more than enough gold. Now I just gotta figure out what else I can use to build a gold planet. I'm thinking definitely some redstone. And maybe even some yellow concrete. This time I have plenty of yellow flowers for dye. Now I just have to turn all of this into concrete and we can build this planet. So it's just putting together the final block palette for the gold planet. And I think I have a genius idea. Let me just go grab something. Oh, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, man. Now let me just make these look a little better. Okay, back to the end I go. Okay, the gold planet came out really cool. And since I have a ton of gold left over, I think I'm going to add something in really quick. Okay, that's supposed to look like a tree. Uh, man, that is one weird looking tree. So if you guys didn't know, in one of my very first episodes of this series, I built a raid farm and uh, th this thing kind of goes crazy. Hold on, let me go find it. I saw a comment earlier that said Guilty loses everything in his hardcore world and uh, it it's true. But I actually found my raid farm. Uh, let me go get Bad Omen Effect first. All right, where's the raid captain at? Aha, there he is. Come here, man. Thank you. Okay, now I just have to hop down here and the raid has begun. That is a beautiful sunset if I've ever seen one. So now if I just smack these guys a little bit, we get tons of XP and drops. Honestly, I just have so much saved up over here. I literally have more emeralds and totems than I know what to do with. Yeah, I used to have a little bit of an unhealthy obsession with this farm. Honestly, I'm just going to use this to repair most of my tools for now because uh, this pickaxe is basically broken. I definitely have more than enough emeralds for this planet, but I'm just going to grab whatever's left in these chests because honestly, these have been sitting here for a while and there could be emeralds in them and now we can just craft these into emerald blocks and add these into our collection and we should be good to go i can't believe i'm about to build a planet out of emeralds so i grabbed a few different concretes and some pearls and frog lights to texture up the build i'm still not sure if i'm going to be using this terracotta because i think it's a little too dark but i'm definitely going to be using some of the lime concrete and i think that i'm going to put this planet next to the dirt one and then after this we have diamond and netherite which is going to be so expensive And now that the emerald planet is complete, I can get started on the diamond and netherite planets. So for the diamond planet, I'm going to need a lot of diamonds. I think it's time to say goodbye to my deep slate diamond roof. Oh, this is a really sad day. But with my fortune three pickaxe, I should get a lot of diamonds from this. Oh, it feels so empty in here now. Let me just grab these diamonds from up here. And that just got us over a stack of diamonds. And if we add that to our other diamond collection, yeah, that is a pretty strong amount. I'm also going to place these ores down to try to get some more diamonds. Okay, that did not get me very far at all. I have under a stack of diamonds, which means I'm going to need a lot more. 
I'm still not at as many diamonds as I was hoping for, but this should do the trick. Now, because we only have a few stacks of diamond blocks, I'm going to be using some other materials to texturize up the planet and fill in space. And I should have some leftover blue wool from when I built this giant warden. And there's plenty of concrete and wool in here. So this should be plenty of materials for this planet. But first, I should probably get some more food. And I'm completely out of cows. Well, I guess I'm going to be eating bread now. I should really make a golden carrot farm soon. But let's go build this diamond planet. And the diamond planet is complete. Man, that took a while. So I now have nine planets in my end dimension and we're only needing one more and that is the netherite planet, which is going to go right there. And I don't have very much netherite, do I? Okay, I'll be needing these. Okay, so the best plan that I have in mind for finding netherite is by using TNT. And a while ago, I built a creeper farm so I should have plenty of gunpowder. Okay, a single piece of gunpowder. That is really underwhelming. Let me go AFK this thing really quick. Okay, now I really hope that these chests are full of gunpowder. All right, now that's actually pretty good. And now I just need to craft all this into TNT and we'll be set. Okay, that should be enough TNT. Yeah, that's literally five stacks. I'm also gonna grab some fire resistance potions. Okay, I have two left, so that should do the trick. And I'm also gonna grab a flint and steel if I even have one anywhere. Here we go. And I should probably take some blocks. So I'm at about Y12, and now I'm just gonna dig a really big tunnel so that I can place a ton of TNT down. And we're already getting lava, great. Okay, now I have a really big tunnel. I'm gonna place down all this TNT. Okay, there is a lot going on right now. So now all I have to do is go around and find ancient debris, and I'm actually not seeing a single piece. Actually, I see some right there. That actually got us a lot more ancient debris than I thought it would. And we still have a lot more TNT to use. All right, I've used all of my TNT, and I'm pretty sure that I've gotten every ancient debris that's in here. Actually, I missed a few right there. Okay, so the grand total of ancient debris that I've got is 44. Now, obviously this wasn't enough for me, so I spent the entire night and the next day mining. I probably just spent 20 to 30 hours mining netherite. Oh my goodness, I am so tired. But I mean, this kind of paid off. I don't even know how I got that much netherite. Now, you may be wondering why I have so much netherite, and that's a very good question. Long story short, there's a part of the netherite planet that I want to build, and it takes nine blocks of netherite. So I had to go find a ton of ancient debris for that. And while that's cooking up, I'm going to go get some other blocks that we can use for the planet, because uh, there is no way I'm building this out of just netherite. So I'm definitely going to be using some of these dripstone blocks, and I think I have some extra ancient debris somewhere in here. There we go. I'm also going to need one of these. I'm also going to grab soul soil and soul sand. And I guess I could add some blackstone in as well. And let me make sure to also grab some gold so that way I can craft the netherite ingots. And just like that, we already have two blocks of netherite. This should be the last of the ingots I need. And now I can craft the rest of the netherite blocks. Oh my goodness. I am holding the most expensive thing I have in this world. All right, let's go build this final planet. I can't believe I've just finished all 10 planets. Let me just show you guys the netherite planet. There she is. Okay, this came out way cooler than I expected. And yes, I added in a ton of this dark oak wood because honestly, it just worked really well. And there's a ton of hidden ancient debris on here, but not as many as I hoped for because I'm a little poor right now. But you might be wondering where the actual netherite blocks are and uh, there, there's none of them in this planet. And that is because uh, netherite is really expensive. So instead I grinded for these nine netherite blocks and we're gonna make a little beacon. Beacon, and there she is. I never thought I would ever have another right beacon. Now look, I know it's not a full beacon like Wadzi, but I'm very proud of this. It only took me like 200 hours, but now I'm very happy to say that my ore solar system is complete. Well, actually, since my last video, I have a ton of extra beacons, so let me just grab one of these. And I do have a few leftover diamonds. Yeah, I thought these other planets deserve beacons as well. And that is one complete solar system if I've ever seen one. Oh my goodness. And like I said earlier, this is only the first step in transforming the end island. It's going to get crazy in a few episodes.